man. Honest with you, man. She's a bad thing. Fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. That's my baby. Caroline. You know what makes a really good install? How you cut the lace. Like, yes, other things really go into it, but lace cutting is a technique that once you figure out how to finesse it, ooh, your installs will level up. Like, look at this wig. No baby hairs, no nothing, just natural slayage. And if it wasn't for how I cut my lace, I don't think this install would come out as natural as it does. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly cut off your lace to get the best fit and most melted layage. Let's get right to it. For today's video, I'm going to be working with this unit from Hair Vivi. This is their 13 by 6 glueless bionic scalp unit. It's one of their newer wigs. The lace on this was phenomenal chef kiss. Literally, it's already melting into my hand in this clip. Like, find that lace. They do have lots of different color options to help you find your best match. This is one of those ready to install units that you literally just take out the box and install. So the first thing to get a really good lace cut is your base, which is like your actual hairline, needs to be prepped properly. To prep my hairline, I just go in with some edge control and push back all the little hairs that are sticking out in front of my hairline. This way I can see everything and know where I need to cut to get the lace to fit perfectly on my head. Now that my hairline is nice and prepped, I can see what I got to work with. I can go ahead and put on my wig. And also make sure you push your wig cap to the back so it doesn't like peek under the lace. Of course, make sure you are adjusting the adjustable straps on your wig to make sure you're getting the perfect fit around your head. Then you can finally proceed to put on your wig. Now, once I put on my wig, I like to just shift it to the left, shift it to the right, and make sure it's centered on my head, as well as just putting the clips that are on the side and the back to make sure everything is hooked onto my head the way it's supposed to be. And I let the lace lay over my ears, because don't worry, we're gonna cut that. Just make sure the wig is fully fitting on your head. Basically like a big old cap. One thing I really enjoyed about this unit is that the lace goes down further enough for those of you who have really low sideburns. Like y'all see that? It goes really far down. My sideburns do not come down that low on me so I'll definitely be cutting those off to get a custom fit. For the lace around my ears, I like to go in with a rat tail comb or just like a very nice pointy comb, great for parting. And I just like to part from where my sideburns end. And imagine I'm drawing kind of like an upside down U that wraps around from my sideburns around my ear. I also like to use my comb and make sure that I am touching the tip of my ear. When I'm making my part for where to cut, I always undershoot instead of getting exactly on top of my ear. That way when I do cut the lace off, in case I made a mistake, that's not a big deal. I can always go back and fix that, but once you overcut, you cannot put that lace back. Less is more. So always just leave yourself some room to make a mistake. Now I proceed to start cutting off the lace. And here's how much lace I cut. It's really not that much. Thank goodness I left myself extra lace to cut around my ear because just like that, it actually ended up fitting perfectly around my ear. If you don't trust yourself enough to cut the wig on your head, what you can do is go ahead, same thing, carve your little upside down C shape around your ear, starting from your sideburns end. And what I do is I just braid off this parted out section take off the wig and just cut the lace off the same way still leaving myself extra room to mess up because honestly i always overshoot when it comes to tracing around my ear Now I put my wig back on, it fits perfectly around my ear. I can push the hair back and it'll look, you know, like it's coming out of my own scalp. I do have enough hair on the sides. So I'm gonna do anything with the sideburns. And now we can move on to cutting the main lace. When it comes to cutting off the main lace on my wig, I always cut in sections because just cutting it in one go doesn't work that well for me. So usually I do just one cut in the middle, 
and some on the sides where the hairline goes in and out. That way it's easier for my scissors to trace along the natural curve that the, the wig already has made into it. Once my sections have been made, I go ahead and start gluing or slash laying down the lace in sections. And now when it comes to cutting off your lace for it to lay on your head, there's a technique to it. How you cut it and what you use really makes a big difference. Starting off, I like to use these cuticle scissors. When I say cuticle, I mean like nail cuticle scissors. I got these from my man at home manicure kit. You can use these or a very sharp brand new brow razor. These two are great for helping you get this jagged type of cut that's gonna lay a lot better across your head. The technique for cutting off my lace is one, I cut off literally every single lace that does not have any hair on it. I cut it all off. Next is I make sure I am cutting in an up and down motion to get that jagged edge. I even like drag the scissors across the lace so that way it's like not a perfect clean cut and this really helps it lay and mesh more naturally on your head. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, cause find me the lace, lace wear. This is why it's essential for me to cut off every single piece of lace that doesn't have any hair on it, because it just makes it a lot easier for your wig to look natural when you don't have extra lace. Like, what are you saving that extra lace for? Before I used to think having extra lace let the wig blend more naturally, but honestly, it's just more of a hassle and more lace to have to camouflage. So cut off as much as possible. Typically when I'm cutting the lace, I just like to follow along the line of the hair. Like, you know, when I say color in the lines, basically cut in the lines. But sometimes the wig is not perfectly centered to my natural hairline and I have to cut outside of the lines. For example, here the wig comes too far down on my forehead. So I'm just parting out how much hair needs to be removed. And once I have part that out, I just use the same cuticle scissors cutting in a nice up and down motion and cut in between that space of the hair I just parted out. This way it's going to really just fit exactly to how my natural hairline is. And that's really it when it comes to the technique I use for cutting off my lace. As you can see, it's very much melting into my hairline. All the little tips and tricks I just told you guys, it's what makes the difference for it to melt. I know when I cut my wig straight across and I use regular house scissors, it does not look this good. Like, find me the lace. But also, shout out to Hair Vivi for having this quality, meltable lace. Like, wow. Like, I didn't even have to tint the lace for me to get it to match my skin so perfectly. But once I went ahead and cut off the rest of the lace, this is how the wig was looking. I didn't have to do any styling, it already came curled. This is honestly a really great beginner friendly wig and just a great quality wig and lace in general. Definitely one of my top quality laces if I'm being very honest. Here is the finished result. You can see the lace is cut perfectly to my hairline. There's no hair sticking out. It doesn't look awkward. It's just melting flawlessly into my scalp. It's giving scalp, exactly. Look at that, yeah, I can put my hair behind my ears. It just fits perfectly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this is super detailed. I don't take this much time to cut my lace, but I like to make very slow down, step-by-step -step, follow along videos for those of you who are beginners because cutting off your lace at first can be very intimidating. Literally when I was a beginner, I would not cut off the lace around my ears because I didn't know if you were supposed to, didn't know how. I thought my head was just weirdly shaped, not knowing you're supposed to cut it to get it custom to you. But now I've learned and I can show you guys what I learned, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Hair Vivi for giving me this bomb wig. Like I did not even have to style it. These curls were by them, plucked by them, color, all of it by them. All I had to do was just install. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, Girl Scouts. Have a blessed and wonderful day.